for dynamic modeling of motor load let's go to the motor in this page here is the load tab so this is motor load dynamic model why it is required this is required for motor dynamic starting analysis and also this motor dynamic modeling is required for transient stability studies for static motor starting this is not really required let's uh, see how to model dynamically this motor load in my previous few videos i have covered this dynamic model of motor in this video we will see how to how to model this motor load dynamically this is 850 kilowatt motor 6.6 .6 kb medium voltage motor and here no curve no model is selected let's assign this go to polynomial then this is for quick pick form from ETAP library if you if it is matching with your suppose fan if the motor application is for fan then this load curve will looks like this is typical if it is compression motor it looks like or it is pump like this every time you can see the speed torque characteristic of load is changing because this is based on these constants a0 a1 a2 a3 so these are the typical data available in etaf library but but there is a high chance that your project specific load will not be available in this etaf library so based on your project specific based on the pump or load supplied load manufacturer supplied data you need to customize you need to create this load curve how to create or how to draw this curve we will see in this video so let's select this typical one so it will look like this so this is from the library so let's remove this one to customize as per the project specific load data we need to add in the library first then we can pull out this particular load characteristic curve in our study let's go to library motor here load model that's fine you can add here based on this polynomial you can add here it is asking for new model id or if you have the pump or compressor suppliers curve you can choose this curve suppose the load supplied load manufacturers data is available for for the curves so we can add this suppose new model id let's create or pump one okay now you can see x axis and y axis for this curve 
we need to create we need to create this curve based on what based on the manufacturer supply data so you need to put you can edit this you can edit these values suppose at speed 0 at at speed 0 torque is 35 suppose speed 5 this is coming 25 like this you can edit for 10 it is coming 37 so these are the data you need to fill up based on the manufacturer supply data suppose corresponding to for 20 this torque value is 50 like this suppose this is 55 i am putting the values arbitrarily but you need to put it very uh, project specific values so suppose these values are not available you can delete this keep in mind that as much as possible data you are getting from the suppliers manufacturers you need to put to get the smooth curve here you can see this curve is generating so whatever values are not available let's delete those values otherwise the curve will not be in safe suppose this is 60 like this you can see the curve nature is changing okay so in this way you need to put the data and whatever is not available you can delete you can simply delete but as much as possible you need to provide the data if you feel the other other data and uh, suppose for 45 percent speed 50 percent speed so it is up to here up to here this curve is generated so this is the this is the load curve so you need to complete the table so that this curve will looks like this this curve will looks like this okay so you can close here now let's go to the motor load tab again here go to curve and hold that pump one it is generated so let's bring that curve as you can see this curve is incomplete i had started this curve it is taking this safe and it is not completed whenever you will complete all the data here based on this speed slip torque data this curve this load model curve will be generated and you can apply based on your project specific requirement then click ok then it will look like look like this so this will be like this when you will complete so these values are torque are zero because this is the incomplete table yeah these values you need to put in the library whenever you are creating that one that time it will come